energy efficiency as a hot topic these days. If you don't believe that, try to go to your local store and buy a light bulb. It's no longer possible to go and select a 100 watt bulb. Now you have to familiarize yourself with such terms as kelvins, lumens, estimated yearly energy costs, energy used, and terms such as that. This video will take some of the mystery out of that topic and enable conveyor operators and designers to convert mechanical power usage into electrical power consumption. It'll show how a reduction in power can be converted to a reduction in kilowatt hours per year and therefore a reduction in dollars per year. Other Romeca videos show how to calculate required belt tension, how to calculate belt cleaner drag, how to calculate skirt board system drag, how to calculate hopper feeder drag. This video will show how to improve energy efficiency by reducing required belt tension, also known as effective tension, or TE. Here are some key terms we need to define at the beginning of this presentation. We know that required power equals the product of belt pull and belt speed. Required power equals pounds of belt pull times feet per minute of belt speed. Here's another key definition. We know that one horsepower equals 33,000 foot-pounds per minute. And another key definition is here. One horsepower equals 0 0.746 kilowatts. 0 0.746 kilowatts. A previous Romeca video showed how a 150 foot long conveyor with a 30 inch wide belt and a 10 horsepower drive system originally installed to carry 575 tons per hour at 300 feet per minute could be upgraded or modified to handle 800 tons per hour. Option one recommended to handle 800 tons per hour, the system be fully skirted while keeping a 300 foot per minute belt speed. Option two recommended the use of a standard skirt at 12 feet long, but a 415 foot per minute belt speed. Standard skirt and a 415 foot per minute belt speed. Each option required the purchase of a new drive system. The previous video showed that if the facility runs 24 hours a day, 365 days per year, and if the electric utility charges 10 cents per kilowatt hour, the two options would compare as follows. Option one would have a power consumption of 122,200 kilowatt hours per year at an annual cost of $12,220. Option two would have a power consumption of 79,103 kilowatt hours per year at an annual cost of just over $7,900. Clearly, in this instance, option two is 35% more energy efficient than option one. Let's explore how to calculate these differences. Option one's required power equals a belt pull of 1,894 pounds times a belt speed of 300 feet per minute, giving us a power requirement of 568,200 foot-pounds per minute. We divide that by 33,000 foot-pounds per minute per horsepower. We apply a factor, and we determine that the required power equals 18.7 horsepower. Option two's required power equals a belt pull of 879 pounds times a belt speed of 415 feet per minute for a power requirement of 364,785 foot-pounds per minute. We divide that by 33,000 foot-pounds per minute per horsepower, apply a factor, and determine that the required power equals 12.1 horsepower. Our constant factor en enables us to accommodate such things as ambient conditions, temperature, altitude, 
drive pulley bearing friction loss, gear loss, and things such as that. Here is how to compare the efficiency of the two systems. Option 1 has a required power of 18.7 horsepower. We simply multiply that by 0.746 kilowatts per horsepower and we determine that the power requirement is 13.95 kilowatts with an operating time of 8760 hours per year. We simply multiply the kilowatts by the operating hours and we determine that the required energy consumption is 122,200 kilowatt hours per year. At an electrical utility charge of 10 cents per kilowatt hour, we conclude that the power cost is $12,220 per year. In option two, we know that the required power equals 12.1 horsepower. We simply multiply that by 0.746 determine that we require 9.03 kilowatts. Multiply that by 8,760 hours per year, and we determine that the energy consumption is 79,103 kilowatt hours per year. At 10 cents a kilowatt hour, that equates to an annual electric power cost of $7,910. In conclusion, we have shown that the faster belt speed and the shorter skirt has an energy efficiency of 35% when compared with a fully skirted, slower conveyor. Here's how to calculate the difference in power consumption. We simply subtract 79,000 kilowatt hours per year from 122,000 kilowatt hours per year to come up with an answer of 43,000 kilowatt hours per year. Dividing that by 122,200 yields an energy efficiency of 35%. The annual cost savings is nothing more than the difference between the two annual numbers. $12,220 minus $7,910 equals $4,310 per year. It's important to note that in this video, we have assumed that the plant would be operating 24 hours a day and 365 days per year. Your operating conditions may be different. It's also important to note that we have, for simplification, assumed that the conveyor runs 100% of the time at full power. This, of course, is an oversimplification, but it's a handy technique to use to find out what the worst case condition of power consumption would be. You can now use these techniques to evaluate conveyor efficiency improvements, such as replacing old two transmission drive systems with newer single transmission drives, or adding hopper pressure relief to the opening of hoppers. These topics will be covered in future videos. We hope you found this short tutorial useful. For more conveyor design and maintenance tips, go to omecacorp.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.